Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, your one-stop destination for all things anime. If you've ever found yourself questioning the intricate mechanics of your favorite anime, you're in the right place. Today we're diving deep into the universe of Goblin Slayer, a series that has left its mark on the dark fantasy genre. With its unique take on traditional RPG mechanics, Goblin Slayer has left fans and newcomers alike intrigued and often confused. How does one level up in this world without visible experience points, skill trees, or status screens? It's a question that we've heard time and again, and today, we're going to attempt to unravel this mystery. So sit back, relax, and join us on this exciting journey as we delve into the enigma of leveling in the Goblin Slayer universe. Whether you're a seasoned fan or a curious newcomer, there's something for everyone as we dissect this unique aspect of the series. Let's dive in. Ever wondered how the leveling system in the Goblin Slayer universe works? Goblin Slayer, a series that has taken the anime world by storm, is known for its unique approach to traditional RPG mechanics. Its popularity has surged, captivating audiences with its gritty, realistic depiction of goblin hunting and the intriguing enigma that is its leveling system. Riding on the coattails of the dark fantasy genre, Goblin Slayer has carved its own niche with a leveling system that defies conventional norms. Unlike the classic RPGs where you can see numeric values associated with levels, this system is more abstract, more elusive. It's a system that has left fans and newcomers alike scratching their heads, wondering, how does it operate? How does one level up in the world of Goblin Slayer? This is the central theme of our exploration today, an investigation into the mechanics of this system. We're going to delve into the world of Goblin Slayer, dissect its leveling system, and attempt to understand its unique dynamics. In most RPGs, leveling up is a straightforward process. You gain experience points by defeating enemies or completing quests, and once you accumulate enough points, you level up, gain new abilities and become stronger. But Goblin Slayer is not your typical RPG. Its leveling system is more nuanced, more complex, and more grounded in the story's reality. In this world, there are no visible experience points, no skill trees, no status screens to track your progress. Instead, the characters grow and develop in a more organic, more realistic way. Their abilities improve through experience, through the trials and tribulations they face, and through the lessons they learn from their encounters with the goblins. The leveling system in Goblin Slayer is a mystery, an enigma wrapped in the fabric of the series, adding another layer to its rich narrative. It's a system that challenges our understanding of how RPG mechanics work, and it's a system that we're going to unravel today. So. Buckle up, grab your swords and shields, and prepare for an exciting journey into the world of Goblin Slayer. Let's unravel the mystery of the Goblin Slayer leveling system together. In Goblin Slayer, leveling isn't as straightforward as you might think. It tosses out the conventional RPG system of explicit levels and experience points. Instead, it adopts a more nuanced approach, focusing on character growth and development through experiences and actions. Now you might be wondering, how exactly does this work? Well, let's delve a bit deeper. In the world of Goblin Slayer, characters don't suddenly become stronger after defeating a certain number of enemies or completing a quest. There are no numbers popping up over their heads or a convenient status screen to check their progress. Instead, the character's growth is shown indirectly. We see it in the way they handle their battles, their strategies, and in their knowledge about the world around them. It's about the journey, the trials they face, and how they adapt. For instance, consider the protagonist, Goblin Slayer himself. His strength doesn't come from an arbitrary level assigned to him, rather it's the result of his relentless pursuit to eradicate goblins. His strategies, his knowledge of goblin behavior, and his unwavering focus are what make him a formidable opponent. Or take the Priestess, a character who begins as a novice adventurer. We don't see her level up in the conventional sense. Instead, we witness her grow through her experiences. Her spells become more potent, her decision-making improves, and she becomes more confident in her abilities. It's a system that mirrors real life in many ways. After all, we don't gain experience points for every task we complete in our daily lives. We learn, we grow, and we improve through our experiences. This approach to leveling makes the character's growth feel more organic and realistic. It's not about reaching the next level or gaining the next skill. It's about the characters evolving, learning, and becoming stronger through their experiences. 
So it's not about numbers, but about the character's evolution based on their experiences. Quests and battles play a vital role in character progression in Goblin Slayer. Just like the grinding gears of a well-oiled machine, the intricate dynamics of quests and battles are integral to the leveling system in Goblin Slayer. These elements aren't just there for the thrill or to add spice to the storyline, they're fundamental in shaping our characters, molding their strengths, and revealing their weaknesses. Take the protagonist, Goblin Slayer, a character who has become synonymous with the relentless pursuit of goblin extermination. Each quest he undertakes, each battle he fights, isn't just an exercise in goblin eradication. It's an opportunity for growth, a chance for him to learn, adapt, and evolve. Remember the Watertown arc? The battles faced by Goblin Slayer and his party during this quest weren't just physical confrontations with the goblins. They were tests of character, resilience, and strategy. Faced with a stronger, more cunning enemy, they were pushed to their limits, forced to think on their feet and adapt their strategies. This quest was a crucible, refining their skills and abilities, pushing them to new levels of proficiency and understanding. Similarly, the farm battle arc saw Goblin Slayer's tactical acumen put to the test. The sheer number and ferocity of the goblins forced him to devise a grand strategy, utilizing every resource at his disposal. This battle was a testament to his growth, from a lone wolf to a leader, from a survivor to a savior. Quests and battles are not just about the thrill of combat or the satisfaction of vanquishing foes. They're about personal growth, about overcoming challenges, about rising to the occasion. Each encounter, each skirmish, each struggle is a lesson learned, a skill honed, a fear faced. Every victory is a step forward, every defeat a lesson learned. Every battle fought, every quest undertaken is a stepping stone on the path to becoming stronger, better, more capable. In this way, every quest and battle is a stepping stone for a character's growth. But how does this unique leveling system influence the overall story? The leveling system in Goblin Slayer is not merely a game mechanic. It's a narrative tool that shapes the story and its characters. Unlike many fantasy series where characters magically level up, this system brings a sense of realism and depth to the narrative. Our heroes don't just become stronger overnight, they grind, they struggle, they learn, and they grow, much like in real life. This progression is organic, making the characters and their journeys feel more believable. Take our protagonist, the Goblin Slayer. He doesn't level up by fighting dragons or saving princesses. Instead, he focuses on goblins, the lowest of the low. Yet through this singular focus, he becomes an unparalleled expert in goblin slaying. His growth isn't marked by flashy new abilities, but by subtle refinements in his strategies and techniques. This evolution is a direct result of the leveling system, making his character feel grounded and authentic. The leveling system also contributes to the series' dark and gritty tone. In many fantasy settings, leveling up is a joyous occasion, a sign of victory. But in Goblin Slayer, it's often a reminder of the harsh realities of the world. Every level gained is a testament to survival, a symbol of the battles fought and the hardships endured. It's a stark reminder that in this world, progress isn't achieved through glory, but through grit and determination. Moreover, the leveling system impacts the dynamics between characters. It creates a tangible hierarchy, influencing relationships and interactions. It forms the basis for respect, admiration, and even rivalry. Characters are defined not just by their personalities, but also by their levels, adding another layer to the narrative. This leveling system, therefore, is a key component of what makes Goblin Slayer so compelling. It's not just about numbers and stats, but about growth, struggle, and survival. It's a testament to the series' commitment to realism and character development, adding depth to the story and making it all the more engaging. This leveling system, therefore, is a key component of what makes Goblin Slayer so compelling. So, after delving deep into the leveling system, what have we learned? Well, we've unraveled that the leveling system in Goblin Slayer isn't your typical RPG-style setup. It's not about grinding, accumulating experience points, or even about reaching the next level. Instead, it's a mechanism that revolves around character growth and development through experience and challenges. We've explored how the traditional concept of levels and experience points is turned on its head. Here, experience isn't quantified into points or levels, but it's a qualitative measure of growth. It's about the skills our characters acquire, 
how they adapt to situations, and how they evolve through their journeys. Remember how we discussed the impact of quests and battles? They're not just about defeating goblins or completing missions. Each quest, each battle, is a learning experience for the characters. They learn from their victories and even more so from their defeats. It's through these experiences that our characters grow, become stronger, and more capable. Then we looked at the impact of this unique leveling system on the narrative and character development. The growth of our characters isn't just reflected in their increased ability to slay goblins or complete quests. It's reflected in their interactions, their decision-making, and their attitudes to the challenges they face. This organic growth makes the characters more relatable and the narrative more engaging. So, what does all this mean? It means that the leveling system in Goblin Slayer is more than just a game mechanic. It's an integral part of the story, the narrative, and the characters. It's a unique approach that sets Goblin Slayer apart from other RPG-styled anime. In the end, the leveling system in Goblin Slayer isn't just about character growth, but also about storytelling. It's a unique and integral part of the series that sets it apart from other RPG-styled animes. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Goblin Slayer universe, we've got plenty more where that came from. Here at Anime Lore Unveiled, we are passionate about unraveling the intricate details of your favorite anime shows. We're not just about explaining what's on the surface, we dig deeper, uncovering the hidden layers that make each universe unique. From character developments to unique game mechanics, from plot analysis to thematic discussions, we've got it all. If you've ever wondered why a character acted a certain way or how a particular game mechanic influences the story, we've got the answers. And if you're just as passionate about anime as we are, we invite you to join our community. Subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled and become a part of our journey as we delve deeper into the world of anime. We've got some exciting content lined up, including deep dives into other popular anime shows. So if you want to be the first to know when we release new content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, stay curious, anime fans, because curiosity is the key to understanding the world of anime. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep enjoying anime.